I'm gonna get right into it. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to start in the sixth fret on the guitar neck. So you're gonna take your index finger, you're gonna place it on the A string in the sixth fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it in the uh, on the B string in the seventh fret. And then you're gonna take your uh, ring finger and you're gonna place it on the G string, a string that I've broken multiple times. Yes, I have broken my G string. Uh, you're gonna put you're gonna put your ring finger on the G string in the eighth fret, and this is the progression that you're going to play. It's going to be A, B, G. It's pretty simple. So it should sound something like this. Be very, very careful not to hit the D string because that will just knock the whole song off. Anyway, for the second part of the song, uh, you're going to do something really simple, which is slide all of your fingers into the fourth fret. But at the same time, you want to take your index finger and you want to move it one string up so that it's on the low E string. So now, basically, the what you should have is your index finger on the low E string in the 4th fret, your middle finger still on that B string in the 4th fret, and your ring finger still on that G string all in the 4th fret. And uh, this is basically the progression you're going to play, it's the same thing. Same thing, only you're playing, you know, obviously the low E instead of the A string. Be really careful not to bend your string up because that will alter the song's sound. And then for the last part of the song, you're going to do something really simple, which is just move everything into the sixth fret the fret that you started out with when you were placing your fingers on the strings for the first part. So everything is still on the same string, but you're now in the sixth fret. Index finger on the low E string, middle finger on that B string, ring finger on that G string, all in the sixth fret. And you're going to play the progression and there's going to be a slight change where you're going to have to skip one of the strings because it repeats itself. And that's the string that you're going to have to skip is the uh, G string. So just take a listen. And that's uh, all three parts of the song. Play it one more time. And that is essentially how you play Rolling Stone by the weekend. Um, if you were to play this song using the tutorial that I just showed you, and you had the uh, actual song playing in the background, then I'm pretty sure you'd see that that is essentially the, um, the structure and you know you're hitting all the strings correctly and um you know like i'm sure that there are some people who are going to take this tutorial and they're going to be like yo this guy's garbage but you know um if you feel like that then please feel free to make your own tutorial and improve upon what i've done here because then you know more people will gravitate towards these tutorials and it'll be able to help a lot of people out so that's how you play a song. Uh, good luck. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Um, also, just just make sure you have fun playing the song. You know, don't kill yourself trying to learn the song. It's
it's a simple song, but it can get pretty annoying when you're like switching all over the guitar neck. And uh, that's it. Good luck. Peace.